my name's Andy Miller. I'm a reader, author, and editor of books. I'm the author of a book called The Year of Reading Dangerously. I write about books. I read books. I used to sell books. <laughs> books, 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 books. And so I am delighted to have been appointed the reader in residence at the Durham Book Festival. My role here as reader in residence in Durham is to speak for the books books whose authors can't speak up for them, either because they're dead or because they weren't free this weekend. What makes Durham different is that it's a writer's festival, but it's also a reader's festival. I think one of the reasons I write about war is because I'm much more interested in peace. That would apply to everyone here. And at this particular moment in the story is a positive moment. There's memoirists here, there's poetry events. And there's also the Gordon Byrne Prize, which is presented at the start of each festival. I think both the prize and the festival allow people to wander around like a virtual library or a virtual bookshop, where there are people not merely holding books, but wanting to engage them and talk about books and all the different things that books can do. Uh, reading a book is a very solitary condition and you can have arguments with yourself, but that's nowhere near as much fun. And listen to people who engage with the subject and looking at it from a slightly different point of view. I am from a long line of troublemakers, of ash-skinned Africans born with clenched fists and a natural thirst for battle. Festival struggle often to cover all points. That's one of the things Durham does brilliantly. I think you could be somebody who likes reading Catherine Cookson, or you could be somebody who likes reading Tolstoy. There'll be something for you to see and think about here. The Durham Book Festival is the perfect place to present the piece in its new form, um, because it's based on a poem by the Persian poet Rumi and I thought it'd be a great combination to, to have the piece performed in a place which is quite alien to that, that type of literature and to introduce those, the themes in the piece about divinity and spirituality. This is where we always wanted to be, where tops of hills stretch up on tiptoes to kiss the smiling sky. The trees purr as the breeze caresses the slender frames of branches. Oh, look, there's a train. By the heggy, not much gas past you, does it? Mind the gap. Hey? The gap, the train's passing through. Aye, but that's not just any old gap. It's the Ferry Hill Gap. Catherine Williams did a fantastic thing last night where she performed a set of songs that she'd written based on The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I wanted to explore her writing through character and theme, so I went back to her book, The Bell Jar, and started writing. And it's really nice to come back and to perform it in this setting where it first began. I think everyone should um, engage with culture when you have free events like this happening in your city centre. You should just do it. To try and make something for everyone, I know that's a bit, a bit of a cliche, but you probably will find something you're interested in if you're, if you're open to just discovering something new, you know. I've had a brilliant week. I, I'm wandering around saying I'm, I'm reader in residence. The fact of the matter is I'm going to carry on saying I'm reader in residence at the Durham Book Festival that just knock the year off the end and then hope that Durham will have me back next year so it just becomes a, a permanent residence rather than a temporary one. Yeah.